Hi traders, it's Roberto. Welcome to the tutorial today, September 5th, 2014, Numb Farm Payroll. We have actually two numbers that came out at, out of the US and Canada. The first one was Numb Farm Payroll. The forecast was 226. Actual number is 142K, so we are short on the US dollar. This is the New Zealand dollar, so we are long on New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. And there's the initial reaction. There's the retracement. We entered a trade around the 38 and 50 percent retracement level, and expect we expect this to continue to go north through the New York session. It's still early. It's only 9:30 or 9:15 a.m. Eastern. So I will stay in this trade through the New York session and possibly exit around 11, 12 noon Eastern. The other trade uh, is pound Canadian. I entered this trade a bit late. There's the initial reaction, the pullback. The entry should have been down here at 61%. And I took the trade actually a bit late on this trade. I was focusing more on the US dollar than the Canadian employment numbers. But here is the forecast was plus 10.3 thousand. The numbers were actually negative 11,000. So this is very negative for the Canadian dollar. So we should see this continue to go north. We're going to come back in about a few hours and see where we are on these trades. Hi traders, I'm back. It's been uh, quite a few hours. The market did not move as much as I anticipated. It's getting very close to the um, close of the day. I'm not a fan of holding positions over the weekend, so I'm going to exit these trades. And once again, this was a trade based on a news event, non-farm payroll, and the Canadian uh, employment change. This is the New Zealand dollar. Here's the initial reaction pullback, and the market had been steadily going up, and now it's finding there's not a lot of volume at this time of the day, so I'm just going to go ahead and exit the New Zealand dollar. And I still have the pound Canadian dollar. I'm tempted to stay in only because the numbers were so negative. Forecast at plus 10.3K and the numbers were negative 11K. So technically, this pair should continue to go north next week. But what I'm going to do is exit this trade anyway because it is Friday and I don't like holding positions over the weekend. Wait for a pullback coming Sunday night or Monday and re-enter the market. So I'm going to exit these two trades. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, if you are interested in any of our programs, just log on to fx-northwest.com. We have um, three or four different products you're interested in or if you have any questions about trading uh, news events just email me have a good weekend thanks for watching the video